Yo, hey everybody, what is up? It is the Cancer Souls, and we're back here with another build video. It's been a while since I've done a build video, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do another build video. This is the Cairo Bleedomancer, aka the Cancer Mancer. This thing is pure cancer if you can do it right. This build is really fun to mess around with, don't suggest as a full on, but anyways, here's my stuff. I do not suggest this build as a full on serious PvP build. This is not a good serious PvP, this is just to mess around, unless you're really skilled with those weapons. This is not a full on PvP build. This is just something to have fun with with friends or something. But um, here's my rings. I don't know why I had Havel. I switched my rings just now. And uh, yeah, I don't have my bleed buff equipped, but we'll fix that in a second. Here's my stats. You guys have been, claiming, been complaining about the volume level of my videos, so I went and toned it down a little bit in this one. You guys are welcome. Ear rape is cancer. My channel is cancer. But uh, I'll tone it down. You guys don't seem to like that. So anyways. So with this uh, Cancer Mancer, you're going to want to get a Snap Freeze on him. Why I say that, it's like a secondary bleed. If you can get Snap Freeze to hit, just like that right there. I don't know if you guys caught that, but the bleed, or the, uh, it frost bit him, so it took a little bit of damage. And now while that cools down, I can switch bleed. That way, I don't know, bleed doesn't really have a cooldown, but, um... So you sit there and just give these Cancerous combos on him with the Warden Twin Sword, and, uh, yeah, you can get some pretty serious damage in there. Especially bleed, because that bleed stacks really fast. I was fighting against my friend, which we were using the same build, and uh, yeah, that bleed stacks in about four hits. And yeah, that, see, I don't know if you guys saw that, but look how fast that shredded him. Like, that's insane. That's why I call it the Cancer Mancer as well, because these things are kind of cancer. Anyways, we got another guy. It looks like a blood shade of some sort, but I can't tell. Oh, it's not a blood shade. He's using lightning, so it's not a blood shade. I, I always say it's a blood shade when they're wearing that armor right there, but I guess not. He's pointing up for some reason. Uh, we're just gonna try to freeze him. Me being an idiot, I forgot I just now re-de-equipped my staff. So I'm sitting here trying to cast my spell, and I forgot I had my staff de-equipped, so I had to switch it back to it. So yeah, we're gonna try this. Um, this spell is actually really easy to dodge, so you gotta kinda force him to go into it. As you guys can see here, I'm trying to force him to go into this. See that, like, yeah, you gotta see that? That's how you force him into it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I guess you just put it in the way that they're walking and they go into it. Ooh, that hurt. You just, um, <clears throat> basically just throw it in the way they're walking. But another name for this spell is called Trump's Wall of Ice. I don't know, I thought that was a funny name for it. Because it's like a big wall. And, you know, you gotta go through it and get frostbitten. Nah, that's pretty, pretty defensive. This guy looks like he's gonna be easily parryable. You know, let me give it a try. I'm gonna try to parry this kid. That is asking for suicide. Oh my god, I hit the parry. Die! <laughs> oh my god, I hit the parry. I do that quite a bit off camera, and then I wish I recorded it, but I don't know. Do you guys want to see a parry montage, or do you guys want to see some more subscriber battles or anything? I don't know. Leave what you guys want to see in the comments. This right here is a community-driven channel, and it's pretty difficult to do that with such a little community. So I want everyone, while this is loading here, I want, I want you guys to tell me in the comments what should I do in my next video. Should I do more live action stuff, or should I do more Dark Souls stuff, or what should I do in Dark Souls? I don't know. Dark Souls has been getting boring lately. Basically, Dark Souls has been who has the most broken hitbox and hyper armor. That is really basically all it's been for me lately. So, yeah, and if you're wondering why I threw that out there before I buffed, it's just to keep them away while I buff. So, freaking, I got backstabbed by a douchebag before I recorded this one. That, uh, while I was trying to buff, he just came and backstabbed me and one-shot me. So, <laughs> not having that again. But this guy looks like he's one of these scrubby katana wielders. I, I call it scrubby because he's literally one shot you if you get hit by that. I know they nerfed the katana, like, or they nerfed that one a little bit by durability wise. And uh, I think they nerfed the hit jump, but look at this. Oh my freaking god, look at that. I'm almost dead. If I didn't roll through that bleed, I would have probably died. So yeah, see, so I'm going to give this kid a taste of his own medicine and I'm going to bleed him to death. Because I hate everyone that uses bleed, and I know I'm the biggest hypocrite for saying that right now, because I'm using bleed, and I probably hate myself for it. I actually do hate myself for it. So yeah, I always shredded that kid pretty fast with that weapon art. I mean, that, that weapon art is freaking amazing. Um, yeah, so, another thing here, getting off topic again. Do you guys want to see Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? I actually got that a long time ago, and they finally sent it to me today, so... You guys want to see that? I can play Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or whatever it's called, Tabs. I'm just going to call it Tabs for short. If you guys want to see that game, whatever. If you guys want to see any other games on my channel, just let me know. I'm not just a Dark Souls YouTuber. Also, I saw that uh, marker flips were a big thing, so I'm going to probably get like tight or bleach markers or whatever. Holy crap, we're doing a lot of damage to this guy. 
I don't know how he managed to evade every single one of those attacks, but oh crap, oh crap, oh god, whoa, we got him. Holy crap, that was just with ice. I think the ice went off on him. I don't know, I didn't hear it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it did go off, I don't freaking know. Ice doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so it's kind of hard to tell, but it's just a little nice little boost there. This is my friend here, I should probably mention that, but uh, yeah, this is, um, we're gonna, I'm just testing this build out with him. Uh, yeah, I'm doing the same thing here, I don't want to get backstabbed by him. He wouldn't do that to me, but... You know, just a thing. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to fight him here. Nice try on the parry. I saw that coming from a mile away. Can't parry weapon arts. Parries that. Can't parry that. <laughs> oh, he's got the... Yeah, he's going to be using the twin axes, by the way. This is his um, new build, which uh, yeah, I didn't make. I did, he made this on his own. He calls it Executioner Morn, I think. Something like that. I think it's Executioner Morn. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that after watching this video. Because I'm pretty sure it's Executioner Smog. Or Morn, sorry. It's pretty difficult. To, what the crap? What was that? Did you just parry me? In a stun lock. Okay. Dark Souls is weird. I'll take it. Uh, oh, I just lost my, my computer. God dang it. I don't know. I like have like nothing to say during these fights right here. I feel bad, but I don't know. It's not like... There's not really a whole lot to say. I mean, I can narrate what's going on here, but that just seems a little bit boring for me. Oh, I got something in the pocket here. I don't know. It just feels a little bit boring. I have a hard time narrating over this stuff. Like, I don't know. It's pretty difficult to narrate over PvP fights because, I don't know. Like, you can pretty much tell what's going on for yourself, you know? I don't know. But if you, like, back to the thing where I was saying about my channel, like, I'm not just a Dark Souls YouTuber. If you guys want to see, like, any other thing on my channel, like, I could do a playthrough of Bloodborne, or I could start playing a little bit of it if you guys want. But I don't know if my camera is going to cooperate with me, because the last time I, t I tried to record a little bit of it, but, uh, it, my camera didn't cooperate and it freaking douched out on me. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is, but I can play any other game, really. If you guys suggest it, I can probably play it. I don't know. Depending on how many people suggest it, I'll play it. My channel's also been growing pretty immensely, guys. I, I appreciate every single one of you guys for hitting that subscribe button. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, a lot of people just say that just because, but I'm being really truthful here. Like, I started YouTube thinking I wasn't going to get anywhere, thinking I was going to have, like, two subs and just be a sucker on the street. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't do this. I do this for, for you guys. Oh, crap, he killed me. I do this for you guys. I don't do this for anything. I like making these videos for you guys. You guys seem to like them. And, you know, I don't know. I just, it feels good to make these videos for people. For everyone, actually. But, uh, enough about me. Anyways, guys. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys liked it, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, sorry you had to listen to my horrible, horrible narration through the whole video. But anyways, if you guys liked it, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.